Hi, welcome to another Game Boys or Awesome video, guys. Today's video is a video response to Dave I'm a Game Geek, and um, his question was um, asking people to do a video about doing uh, gaming history. So I thought I might as well give it a go and see what happens. So yeah, so I'm going to start at the beginning, and that's so yeah. Um, I think the first system we ever had in the family was the Amiga 500 Plus which we still have today but it doesn't really work properly so I'm still struggling to get it to work and um, still got some of the games for it like um, Lemons, Lemons 2 um, what is it? I think it's Simpsons um, Space Mutants versus Space Mutants or something like that some other games which I can't remember but I remember having that in my bedroom when I was younger but I was quite young when, that, when, we, when we had that so I can't remember a lot of me playing it but vaguely vaguely playing it but and they're the games we had anyway as i said and then um, the next system we got was a sega Ma master system and we got given that from one of my uncles or something like that he gave us their sega master system one and sega master system two i think because i didn't know that until i actually asked my mum where did we get it from because i still got the original ones here and um, they still work, which is fantastic. And I was just wondering where we got them from. My mum said they got them from one of my cousins or uncles, I don't know, something like that. So that's pretty cool. And we've had that in my family for fucking probably like, tw I don't know, I don't know how long we had it in for, like, probably like 20 years or something like that. Yeah, probably like 20 years we've had it for. It's pretty quite a long time. And um, uh, that uh, the met, we had the was it we had the number one and number two but number two we had we had the built-in um alex kid which was a great game i uh, loved playing that as a kid and it was quite dodgy because we only had one controller which was fucked it like it was all taped up and my dad had to like um you know like the wires the wires are cut or something like that and we had to like solder it and all that crap to get back together again so we only ever had one controller, so we didn't, didn't we didn't ever have like two player games. So we only had two games at the time. The one that was built in, which was Alex Kid, and we had then in, in a couple of years later we ended up picking up from a car boot in the nineties. Um what was it? The first Sonic for it. And I still got the original copy here, which is fantastic. And it's all I think it hasn't got a manual. I think I lost the manual over the years, but it's still got the box and everything, so which is wicked. So yeah, that was the, um, the second system we had. And then later on that, I can't remember much else we had. I think, yeah, actually, I think my brother picked, my brother ages ago picked up a, um, or the 90s, my brother picked up in a, uh, what was it, a Game Gear, which was from a car boot again. And I remember getting, I remember my brother wanting this, because I went to a car boot, and um, I was about seven or something like that at the time, probably a bit younger. And I had like, I think I was the only one who had money on me, enough money for it. And I couldn't find anything around the car boot which I wanted. But my brother wanted to borrow some money off me and I wouldn't let him do it. And in the end I ended up giving, it, gave, giving in so he could buy the Game Gear. And that came with um, a Game Gear, I think it was Columns, and a Charger and stuff like that. So, um, I think it wasn't a Charger, but it was like a, you know, a plug so you can plug it in and play it in the main like in the mains charge or power thing and um i remember the next game i got for that system my brother bought in was slider which was i don't know if you guys have played slider it's a fantastic game it's really fun and um just look it up if you want to see a gameplay of it. i might do a gameplay i don't know if i get an emulation up and i used to love playing that game as a kid um still got it boxing complete still box is a little bit tatty but uh still got it which is fantastic and um so yeah, that's probably the next, that's a, probably the first handheld we've ever had in, in the family. And then, I think about what else, um, after that, I think I got a um, Game Boy Color, which was awesome. So then I still got my original Game Boy Color here, my one as a kid. I show it quite a lot in my, in my um, videos, and the back just fell off, but I still got the back. Like, you know, as a kid, you usually lose them, but I still got my original one, so... My Game Boy Color was the next one I got that in. When did I get this? Probably nine. I think it was nineteen ninety nine. I got that, 
and um, that was a really good system. And the games I used to play a lot of on, ga on the Game Boy Color was um, I only had like four games at a time, and um, the game I used to play a lot was uh, what was it? Um, and you had 102 Dalmatian. I had um, Tarzan, Chicken Run, which is a complete bar of shit. I hated that game. And um, and I had um, Mario Land, yeah, Super Mario Land, which I got given from someone. So I was really happy having that. And that they're the base of the only games I had for that at, at the time, until I got another system, which which I'll get into that. Um, so after that, I ended up getting my first um, for my first console, which was my PlayStation One, which is the slim version I had, and I had that when I was about, I think I was, I think I, probably about my 11th birthday, which would have been 2001, so, yeah, it was quite, quite a while in, quite a while when it was out, it's been out for a long time by then, but, um, I wasn't, I didn't really get into, I wasn't really a big gamer as a kid, I was quite a lot, I was quite an active, I used to live in the countryside, so I was mainly always out and about, um, you know, doing my thing outside, so I really wasn't in a lot, but I do remember actually before I keep forgetting this. I do remember some point in 1998 or something a bit further up, back. We had a PC, a proper PC, and we had some PC games that I used to love playing on. Um, what was it? I used to play a lot of. Um, I yeah, still got the original game. Oh, the game actually broke recently because I had something on top of my um, desk here and it fell off and I had a disc at the bottom and it fell on a disc and cracked the disc off but I still have the case for the game and this is the original case we got and this is Rollercoaster Tycoon which I used to love playing on, on when I was a kid um, fantastic and um, I used to remember having one of my mates come over mine and um, he, we could never get we used to get really addicted to the game and we could never get out, like we used to like have to chuck each other out and get each other out otherwise we'd be playing it for hours and just not you know getting any fresh air or anything because <laughs> it's such an addictive game i used to really find really really enjoy it and um yeah it was a really good game back in time back in day and it's still a good game now and um and then that's probably what i gave and then i remember having a game another game for the pc which was nightmare ned you don't even remember if any of you guys remember the cartoon Nightmare Ned. I had a Nightmare Ned game for the PC, which was very weird. Um, he, had a, he had a yo yo, and he used to go, Eat my yo yo. And um, if you, you'd probably, probably be a gameplay up somewhere, and um, it'll probably make more sense if you know what I'm on about. I used to play that quite a bit. It's quite. I used to get quite scared of it actually, because it's called Nightmare Ned, and you get these weird freaky monsters. And you just walk around, and you know, it's really weird. But I may try and get an emulation on that and see if I can get that, because I've. I've got the game somewhere, but I don't think it works because it's quite an old game. So I remember playing Nightmare Ned on the PC. Well, another game. Um, what else? I think not. There's not a lot else we have for the PC game worthy. They're the main games, and then um, as I said, I've gone through the PlayStation One, haven't I? So the next thing I got probably was um, yeah. Next thing I got would have been on. Too far, no, I don't know when it was, I don't know what year it would have been, but I remember getting my um, first Game Boy Advance, which I had. I haven't got it, I haven't got my first one anymore because I ended up losing it somehow. I don't know where the hell it went, my original one I had, but I remember getting that. And I had uh, a few games that came with that, which the first game I got with it was um, what was it called? Um, yeah, it was. Yoshi's Island, which was a great game, um, really fantastic game, and I've got a couple of other games of it, but I can't remember which they were, but I've got them somewhere back in there, I've still got the original games for them, which is awesome, um, so I've done Game Boy Advance, and what else did I get, yeah, I'll probably after the Game Boy Advance, I got my PlayStation 2, which I got that in 2004, I remember saving up my money from doing um, doing paper rounds, and my stepdad helped me out, and he paid paid for it all for me. And I got mine from I think it was Toys R Us. I got mine from from and um, getting that when I was fourteen. And uh, I got what games did I get with it. I remember getting um, Prince of Persia, 
um, some other game, I can't remember what it's called, some like monster truck game and another one, which I can't remember what they're called. Um, but there were quite good games which what came with it and I was really happy about that. So that I got that. Still got the original console still, which is awesome. I haven't got rid of that. I got rid of my original PlayStation 1. I sold out a car boot, which I do regret. Um, what else did I got? Um, and then, I don't know. So, like, if you want to know about, like, the Sega Mega Drives, it's, my gaming history is quite mixed up, really. It's really weird. Um, like, to, when I used to play Super Nintendo games, I usually, I I didn't have one until later on, until like about 2004. I didn't have my, I my, probably had my first Super Nintendo. Um, because when I used to play my Super, to play Super Nintendo games, is when I when I used to go to my mate's house and um, probably in the, in the in the early 2000s, I was going over his house and we used to play Super Super Mario games and uh, play um, Sonic on the on the Sega Mega Drive because he had all that sort of stuff. I didn't have all that. So when we used to go over his house, play all those. It was really cool playing them games. And um, what else? We had he had even had a N64 which I didn't have until later on when I brought one off him. And in the end, he gave me all his Mega Drive games, and um, I ended up selling all them off, which I do regret because he had loads of them. He gave me a whole bag full of them for nothing. And I just got rid of them, and I wish I kept them now, because they would have been worth a lot, because they're all boxed and cased and all that great stuff. But yeah, that's what happens isn't it? when when you don't really collect anymore, and then suddenly start playing them, on playing them again. It's just oh. But um, yeah, my game history is quite me mixed up. I'm probably not making any sense to you guys, but um, I know I've done my PlayStation Two now, so I'm go straight to my um next system what I got after the PlayStation 2 would have been my Xbox 360 which I got in 2009 um, first game I got with that was what was it um, <coughs> I can't remember what it's called now I got um, was it Sonic All-Stars Tennis which I got with it and then I got um, what was it P PGR 3 or 4, PGR 4 something like that one of those which was a great racing game but I ended up leaving it at a mate's house and now I don't have it anymore I don't even hang around with it anymore, so I've lost the game out of that. And yeah, that's probably that's probably a lot of my game history. And then last year, I picked up a new system to me, which I never had before. Um, I picked up my first GameCube, which I've never even had one until I spotted one last year at a car boot for five quid. So I snagged it up. And then a couple of months after that, I spotted a box game, a spot a box GameCube, which was a Japanese orange one for 25 quid of one japanese game and i was like pretty chuffed about that and um that's probably probably it guys really with, with my history of games um it's very mixed up and i never got the systems when they were released um oh yeah i've missed out some more guys sorry i keep missing out on these all this stuff um i remember in 2004 no 2004 in 2006 sorry I got my first, um, was it, DS Lite. I still got the original one, I think, but I left it at my girlfriend's house. So I can't really show you that on this video. Um, but I remember getting that, and um, that was wicked. First time I played Super Mario Land 2, no, the new Super Mario Bros. And that was fantastic. And that the the new Super Mario Bros is one of my, is like the first game I ever completed. And that's how bad I am at games. I'm so shit. And when I got that, it was well good. And when I completed it, it was oh, it was wicked. So I have the feeling I've already completed a game. And then, till now, actually, last year I bought myself a 3DS XL, which is fantastic. And um, I haven't played a lot of it, actually, recently. Because I just not really got into it. But I will get more into the, my 3DS XL soon. Because I should be getting some more games for it as well. Which would be going to be awesome. So yeah. Um, I hope this video is going to be alright guys. Because I'll probably miss some things out. It's just very mixed up. Most of my consoles. Most of the older consoles I started playing later on. Because um, I, mean, I didn't really get into gaming properly. Until probably late. Early. No probably. 
like early night early 2000s mainly i got really big into it um like you know stuff like that so i hope this video is all right it's probably a bit confusing for you guys because i didn't really i'm not as i'm honest if i'm honest i'm not very good at explaining things i really do struggle with doing it and like letting you guys you know just showing you trying to explain things to you guys i find it very very um hard to do but hope you enjoyed the video guys and i'll see you guys next one bye